Welcome back. We are talking to the Aggies of New Mexico State, the men's basketball team. Last season, their season was cut short. They had off-court issues. They have a whole new coaching staff, whole new players, and they are ready for a fresh start this year. We are pleased to be joined by first-year head coach Jason Hooten and their star, Casey Eziegu. Coach, 13 years at Sam Houston. Why did you decide to come over and be the head coach at New Mexico State? Yeah, I, I just... Uh... You know, obviously not an easy decision, um, and that's kind of not a knock on either side. Uh, you know, I think when you're somewhere like I've been for a long period of time, you know, those relationships and, you know, the love and the passion that you have for that place, uh, you know, it's, it's hard to overcome. And, uh, but, you know, also, you know, your team and the guys coming back, you know, those all make decisions even more difficult but I just think the biggest lure with New Mexico State was just the history of men's basketball there and you know the Lou Henson and you know just that uh, just that mystique there and the and the, the, the crowds and just what really basketball has meant to New Mexico State over the years and I think those were things that besides the challenge in itself I think those were the things that drew me to the job Every time there's a coaching change at a school, there's always a different scenario, different situation. You are literally starting from scratch. What was the first thing you did when you got the job and decided, this is how I want to build New Mexico State? Uh, a lot of prayer. Uh, no, I think, you know, was, again, I think it was all about a challenge. Um, you know, you, I think the number one thing you do is you, you've got to have a staff that's ready to go. You've got to have some assistants that you think you can hire. And of course, uh, you know, whether or not your assistant coaches are going to get the job at Sam Houston, which Chris Mudge did. And so I had to kind of turn the page and, you know, go to my, uh, my list of guys that I've always kind of kept there. And, and uh, yeah, I think that's the most important thing is building the staff. You're only as good as the, the people that work with you. And, and then, of course, recruiting, you know, and I, trying to just kind of figure out who, want, who was going to stay and who wanted to go and all those things. They usually work out the way they should. They usually take care of themselves, but we had a lot of work to do for sure. It was a really busy spring and a really busy summer, and and uh, I don't think the work's going to stop um, for a while. Walk us through the uh, the roster. Tell me about how, who are some of the key guys we have now brought in, and kind of what you expect because all these guys are going to have to gel together for the first time. Yeah, I mean it's just been such a whirlwind. Um, you know, we signed 13, we took two extra, so we're at right around 14 players right now. Um, you know, Casey, you know, being a, a guy that came with us and knowing me and knowing my expectations and my culture and philosophy, I think has really helped for sure. Uh, but, but a lot of our guys that we signed were a lot of portal guys, you know, because obviously we want to try to be competitive right away. Um, and also when you get a job in April-ish, there's, you know, the high school guys or, you know, or high school player, players are not necessarily people that you've recruited all year long now taking a new job and so we we felt like you know a lot of we have a lot of fifth year guys on our team guys that are you know working on their master's degrees right now um but there's you know i think there's a numerous guys that we feel like can step in and you know brandon suggs from central florida is is a guy that we all feel like can you know be a good player for us and and step in and help right away um you know jordan rawls who played at western kentucky has a good feel for the league and they had a coaching change there, and he was looking for a new, a new home. Um, we really like the possibilities that Jordan bring with us. And you know, Jalen Posey's a young man that played at Stephen F. Austin, which we were, you know, we played against while I was at Sam Houston in the same conference, and had a really good feel for Jalen in his game. And so, you know, I we could go on and on. Um, you know, I, I just think that you know we we are a team that. Um, will depend on, I think, everybody this first year. And I also think that we have guys on our team that, you know, will step up. And, and we're not real sure yet who those guys will be, but I think some, some of those guys will step up and, and probably even surprise us. So Casey, bring us into practice. What is it like? How competitive is it? What's the style of play that's been forming? Well, there's a lot of new guys on the team and not a lot of guys all the guys come from different places, different backgrounds, so they don't really understand his coach's philosophy. The coaches are really heavy on defense, so us learning our new defensive ways of being in the gap and not really pack line 
and, and flying around like that. So it's been a little interesting to teach guys. I'm kind of like stepping up, trying to be a leader, teaching the guards how to do certain things. It's kind of weird for me because I'm a forward doing that. But it, it's been very interesting. Practice is always competitive. Everyone's competing, getting after each other. Like, because after all the drills, everyone's biting at the nail to get to scrimmaging and going at each other one-on-one. -on -one. So it's been fun. It's been really interesting. It's been really interesting. What are some of the goals you've set for yourself and then the team goals all right, for this year? For myself, I'm, I want to be one of, the better, one of the better bigs in the league. I feel like as the year went on last year, I got better in my game, got more confident, was able to do more stuff and help the team. I feel like I want to um, be able to contribute more for the team as we go on this year, be like a guy that everyone can rely on, a guy everyone can lean on, know that he's reliable and stuff like that. So I want to be one of the better bigs in the league this year. Also, as for our team, I want us to be, like last year at Sam Houston, we were really good early. We were pretty good early, so I want to be a, one of the better teams early. It's going to be a little interesting because we have new guys and we're going to try to figure things out. But I want to be one of the better teams in our conference really early. All right, Coach, with our final 30 seconds here, walk us through the schedule. What are some of the games you're looking forward to? Well, our schedules, it's, it's pretty tough for sure. Um, you know, opening up at Kentucky, I really felt like that game was, um, would be great for our program coming off of what we did last year. And, you know, just a good taste in everyone's mouth. I think, you know, that's going to be a game that the highlights are going to be on ESPN. I think we're going to be in a good light there. And, and uh, so I, I thought it was really positive. Um, you know, we go to Louisville, um, go to Tulsa, and then going down to Cancun and playing two really, really good mid-majors in Fresno State, possibly either James Madison or Southern Illinois. Uh, and then, you know, just getting into league play. I mean, this is going to be a tremendous conference, a lot of competition. You know, I think it's really unique that we get a chance to play UTEP twice. I know the people there, uh, it's a great, 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 great tradition of playing each other and being able to do it twice in one year, I think is great for our fans. Um, of course, I left off our game with University of New Mexico, and I know in that state, that's a big game, and we get to play those as twice as well. So our schedule is very, very uh, challenging, but uh, you know, I always have played t challenging schedules because I, I think there's no better way than prepare yourself for conference play than to do that in the preseason. Coach, welcome to Conference USA. Good luck this season. Thank you. Appreciate you having Coach us. Coach Hooten, Casey Aziegu, we welcome and wish New Mexico State men's team the best of luck.